going to move on though now to a huge match. This, huge this one is a bit, a bit tougher to call. This one is yeah. definitely in the balance on both sides with like backs to their wall nearly. Like Russia less so than Spain because they're away from home and they've already recorded some points. But Spain very much yeah, yeah. backs to the wall in the race. Oh for yeah, this spot. is this is do or um, die for Spain. It is Spain hosting Russia um, in the Rugby Europe Championship 2021. This is going to take place on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, kick off quarter to one local time, um, uh, quarter to twelve um, in uh, GMT. Yeah. Um, ref by Jason Besant, um, Tom Spurrier, and Wayne Davis on the sideline. All Welsh refereeing team. Um, this is a colossal game in the context of, of of the qualifiers. Both sides will be up against it as much as Russia. You might think can afford a loss with the way that Romania and Portugal are playing. I'm not sure that not they sure. can. Yeah, no, they um, won't, certainly won't be won't be shooting for a loss. They want to no. want to win it. The, the no. current pool table looks Georgia ahead on 23, Portugal 14, Romania likely to join them on 14. Currently on nine, but playing that game against the Netherlands, then Russia on nine themselves. A win here obviously puts them near more or less dead level with the Portuguese yeah. and the Romanians. Um, and Spain lagging behind on two points from three games but crucially with that game against the Netherlands to come yeah, um, so, so they can get as high as with a win here they can get as high as, as um, 11 points 11. with a bonus point win over the Dutch yeah. um, and so obviously it's it's tight it's interesting but all these sides are still fighting and what I will say from Spain's point of view is that they have had some positivity so far this November they, they had that game against the um, against the Italy A side where they pushed them all away they took that 13-12 uh, halftime lead against Fiji last yeah, week that's, a, massive, ste- that's yeah. a step up from this standard they did that without their main guys Rue and Ordas their there halfback you. combination only coming back into the team now now that Pro is on a break there they're going to come in and inject some energy and the best thing about this Spanish side is that they're skilled yeah. they are They are genuinely skilled they, they play at a high tempo ball. and they want to offload and when they score tries they're they pretty. score incredible tries box office tries it's worldies true. of tries yeah. and they have to be the quicker stronger sharper team than Russia in this game yeah. and to shock them just to not allow the Russian defence to get on top of them yeah, by no, getting yeah, to the edge to, it's going to um, be a game similar style things like who's dictating the tempo if Spain are dictating the tempo then the crowd are with them in Madrid yeah. and, and then it can flow if Russia are suffocating the tempo and slowing it up then Spain are probably the ones who are likely to be the, the ill-disciplined ones in those yeah. games based on precedent because Russia actually are quite a discipline for such a physical forward oriented team they're very good at being disciplined yeah. uh, collectively like that is one of their, their good strengths and that is not what you could say about Spain based on this this campaign in the rugby championship you're right to say much improved in the last couple of weeks their autumn autumn showings have been night and day much better uh, even without those front line guys but uh, their the games they played in the in the tournament so far in the rugby championship have been really poor like like discipline wise all over the place structure yeah. wise all over the place uh hasn't been yeah, they seemed, they, for they, they, they on the early part of the season it seemed they traded all of their high flying offensive instincts for some game in the in the tight yeah. exchanges and, and they were like the balance more able off. to scrum against Romania in the fourth quarter but it didn't matter because they were already beaten in that yeah. game and they were down to and 13 uh, or 10 men um, <laughs> as well as the other side um just in terms of the overall a matchup. Russia are the ones with the winning record in yeah, this. Uh, they've won surprising. sixteen uh, and lost six so far. Um, but uh, yeah, they they'll know that a win here is what they need to kind of tie tie things up with Romania and Portugal, and they'll be eyeballing it. Uh, It'll from, bury from Spain as well if they can win it this will, game. Yes, if Russia if Russia do win this, that is Spain done and dusted. You can stick a fork in them as far yeah. as the World Cup is concerned. So it's it's massive massive pressure on the Spaniards, and I'm, like as as good as the discipline has been in the last couple of weeks. I'd attach the caveat that there's no pressure. This is yeah. massive pressure on them, and we will see how they yeah, cope on that. I'm, I'm excited to see them go back to what they do best, which is just move the ball. Yeah, they had a couple. Of, they had a try, a nearly try, a nearly coast to coaster against Italy, where the last pass didn't stick. Yeah. but they do love to move the ball, get to the edge. Portugal rounded up uh, 49 points against this Russian defence. Yeah. They were the only side to do so. Russia are a decent defensive team. They are. They're only, very only, physical. Only eight conceded against the Netherlands. They did concede 23 against Georgia, but that's relatively that's stingy good. for this yeah, competition. Yeah. Um, earlier in the year, in February, they conceded um, uh, just just 16 against Georgia, 16 to 7 defeat. Um, they had a, a, they just conceded 13 against Romania in that opening game where they just constantly got the jackal steals, yes. jackal steals, jackal steals. When they control the tempo, they're hard to beat. 
But from Spain's point of view, if you they break, got opened you up. You gotta break yeah, it open. By but speed. Yes. Speed and deceptive line it. running ran up 49 points against yeah. them. So, so it's easy to draw up a tactical plan for Spain here that shouldn't be about being a dog going into the trenches and trying to outwork no. them there because that is just fundamentally silly. The precedent shows that they don't give up that much even to Georgia when that's what the game's yeah. about. And what's your USP? What do you have over them? This Russian side, as good as they are in that thing, they are slow, collectively. Yeah. As I've said it before, it was my, my take on them in the World Cup as well, was like, they're actually very competent all over the park, apart from the fact that the back line are so slow. And um, it just means they couldn't convert anything. So if they if Spain can set the tempo and try and access the extremities, make it a, a good, clean attacking game, as opposed to a yeah. dogfight in the trenches then they have a chance to get their crowd involved and get a score up and like if they can create that kind of game you're more likely to win with a bonus point even even regardless of the uh, the caliber side like they won't be targeting a bonus point a win is is what they need here but if you can arrange a shootout or a high flying kind of game like that then yeah five tries to two win comes up more in more easily when you set the tempo that way it just becomes more likely an outcome so yeah it just it, for all kinds of reasons it makes sense for spain to try and play that way and it'll be on guys like those returning halfbacks to make sure that that's where they're looking and um, for russia it's the opposite equation they need to make it tight make it slow work them at the mall work it's, them at the breakdown the, defen- work them the in defensive the breakdown is so yeah. huge if, if they can get that bit of, if they can dial in the jackal steals from all over the pitch just once they make the tackles get that bit of separation between the Spanish uh, cleaner and and the and the Spanish carrier, jackal them all day yeah. and frustrate them, frustrate, frustrate them. the at the mall at the scrum yeah. at every set piece. And like if you can tilt, ideally, for you frustrate them with an ideally tilt them kind of thing because you could end up playing against fourteen if the pressure comes on. If you manage to put the squeeze on them and they're a score down and you're mauling them, like it's not beyond the Spanish forwards to be frustrated and sack them all right in front of the ref and get themselves carded and you yeah. know like that's what the rush the russians need to be savvy need to be physical and try and work what is a backs to the wall spain try and put it up to them because they're, they're like russia have recourse if they lose this game it's away from home spain do not yeah and that plays to the russian edge in terms of just the gamesmanship of it the uh the kind of the little moments that you can try and stick a needle in or try and get them to do something silly if you can do that at all that's that's a big in for them yeah i couldn't agree more it's definitely it's a tough one to call i've it been is. impressed with spain i really have um i was also pretty impressed with russia the other day they have a, a new lad on the wing who's who's a little quicker it's good um, yeah they need uh, to need to be um and they they moved the ball very well it was granted against a netherlands team that just wasn't tackling yeah but they scored some tries that you'd scarcely ever see them score this is true um, this is all last good progress week. yeah, um, yeah. But I, I, I think I back Spain in this one at home. I think go. their backs to the wall. I like. I was so unimpressed with them earlier in the year, but I I was very impressed with them last week. They have a few men to come back in. They seem to be going back to what they're best at, which, which is, is good. moving yeah. the ball. Just being a little embarrassed by how much how Portugal have overtaken them. You forget that like twelve months ago, Portugal were like out of the equation, yeah. and it was all about Spain and our Spain, the next Japan, yeah. and like so badly overtaken have they been by their neighbours that maybe there's a response coming and gee a win here just makes the whole thing very interesting yeah it makes it a four horse race all of a sudden (laughs) that does make it interesting that is probably what I want to have happen but I'm probably going to lean on the Russians here because I have have wiliness wins out well like as much as you were impressed with Spain and Spain were more impressive I think they have a long way to go to get some credit in the bank (laughs) as far as I'm concerned I was so unimpressed with their showings throughout this rugby championship and I'm going to base it on that more so than the friendly games that pressure wasn't off whereas pressure is very much on I would like to see them do what you're saying go wide make it a, make it a sexy game like that and, and win it but they could end up in a dogfight by their own doing and then end up losing it and losing men and that's what I fear for them and I think Russia are a very impressive disciplined force that could just see off Spain if they turn the screw a little bit okay um, that's well it's, a prob- it's possibly a fair shout yeah. um, let us know what you guys think down in the comments below and be sure to watch the game on Rugby Europe TV on Sunday that's right um, we're going to move on though Thank you for tuning in to the Overlap Rugby podcast. If you enjoyed what you hear, please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below as well. We enjoy hearing your opinions too. Thank you.